How do social expectations influence the diversity of sexual orientations? What is female sexual dysfunction and how is it treated? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Social expectations influence the perception of the diversity of sexual orientations. Cultural, religious norms, and conformity pressures can stigmatize non-heterosexual orientations. Lack of positive representation in media and education contribute to discrimination. Female sexual dysfunction refers to persistent difficulties in a woman's sexual function, such as lack of desire, difficulty achieving orgasm, pain during sex, or lack of vaginal lubrication. Treatment may include sexual therapy, hormonal therapy, specific medications, such as treatments for vaginal dryness, and addressing any underlying physical or mental health issues. Kama Sutra in Contemporary Literature Many contemporary authors have referenced the Kama Sutra in their works, exploring its cultural significance and relevance in the modern world. Kama Sutra in Sexual Education Some educational institutions include the study of the Kama Sutra in their sexual education programs, recognizing its cultural and historical importance in understanding human sexuality. Kegel Exercises Foreplay can include Kegel exercises, which strengthen the pelvic floor muscles and may increase sensitivity and orgasm intensity. Kink culture, BDESM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism is a sexual subculture involving consensual erotic practices and games. For many, BDSM is a way to explore fantasies and boundaries. Lack of sexual education. Despite the importance of sexual education, Many societies lack adequate sexual education programs, leading to misunderstandings and health risks. Latex and leather clothing fetishism. Latex and leather clothing fetishism involves sexual attraction towards tight and shiny garments, such as latex suits or leather jackets. These garments may symbolize power, dominance, or simply be aesthetically appealing to those with this fetish. In some Latin American countries, sex education remains a taboo subject due to cultural and religious influences. However, there are growing movements to integrate it into school curricula as a way to address issues such as teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Leather clothing fetishism. Leather clothing fetishism involves an attraction to clothing made of leather, such as tight pants, jackets, or boots. The smell, texture, and association with domination can be exciting aspects for those with this fetish. Legislation and Censorship Pornography is subject to laws and regulations in many countries, ranging from total censorship to regulation of production and distribution to ensure compliance with legal and ethical standards. Lifestyle Factors Factors such as excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, and sedentary lifestyle can contribute to premature ejaculation by affecting sexual function and overall health. Lingerie fetishism. This fetish focuses on sexual arousal caused by a partner's underwear or lingerie, which may include garments such as bras, panties, thongs, etc. Long hair fetishism. This fetish involves a particular attraction to people with long hair, either real or as part of a wig. Love and sexual desire. Romantic love and sexual desire are two different aspects of a relationship. While love focuses on emotional connection, sexual desire involves physical attraction. Male and female orgasm. Although there are similarities in the physiology of orgasm between men and women, there are also significant differences, such as duration and intensity, as well as the ability to experience multiple orgasms, which vary from person to person. Male multi-orgasms. 
Although it is more common for women to experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, some men can also achieve it. It is believed to be more likely in young and healthy men. The practice of controlling ejaculation can help some men achieve multiple orgasms. Masturbation and creativity. Experimenting with different positions, rhythms, pressures, and stimuli during masturbation can increase excitement and pleasure, fostering sexual creativity. Masturbation and menstrual cycle. Some women experience an increase in sexual desire and frequency of masturbation during certain phases of their menstrual cycle, such as ovulation. Masturbation and orgasm. Female masturbation can lead to orgasm, but some women also enjoy the process without necessarily reaching climax, focusing on exploration and pleasure. Masturbation as a healthy practice. Masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity that can provide pleasure, relieve stress, and help people learn about their own bodies and sexual desires. Masturbation as self-care. Many women consider masturbation as a form of self-care and self-healing, allowing them to dedicate time and attention to their sexual and emotional well-being. Masturbation in older age. Masturbation is not exclusive to young people. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as a way to maintain a healthy and satisfying sexual life. Masturbation in the Bible. Although masturbation has often been viewed as taboo in some cultures, the Bible does not explicitly mention masturbation. Interpretations vary. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation is not exclusive to young people. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as a way to maintain a healthy and satisfying sexual life. In some indigenous cultures in Latin America, such as the Maya in Guatemala, there are ancestral traditions that include teaching about sexuality as an integral part of life and individual worldview. Medical fetishism. Medical fetishism involves sexual attraction towards medical scenarios, uniforms, or instruments. This can include role-playing where one person takes on the role of doctor or patient, exploring the sensuality and vulnerability associated with medical care. Mental stimulation. Mental stimulation plays an important role during foreplay. Whispered words, compliments, and fantasy creation can increase arousal and anticipation. In Middle Eastern countries, sexual education may be a taboo subject and subject to cultural and religious restrictions, making access to accurate information on sexual and reproductive health difficult. Mobile applications. There are mobile applications dedicated to the Kama Sutra that offer interactive guides, tips, and tutorials on different sexual positions and techniques to enhance intimacy in couples. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,